This is Planetary Television, your source for updates and space exploration. I am Errol Coder, and welcome to This Week in Space. We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again. Some sunny day Keep smiling
The most recent update on the Mars exploration mission shows us that Spirit used its navigation camera to take the images that have been combined into this 180 degree view of the rover's surroundings during its 1,823rd Martian day, or SOL, of Spirit's surface mission. It is approximately February 17, 2009. Now, the center of the view is towards the south southwest. The rover had driven 7 meters, approximately 23 feet, eastward during and during Sol 1823, part of the maneuvering to get Spirit into a favorable position for climbing onto the low plateau called Home Plate. However, after two driving attempts with negotiable progress during the following three Sols, the rover's team changed its strategy for getting to destination south of Home Plate. The team decided to drive Spirit at least part way around home plate, instead of ascending the northern edge and taking a shorter route across the top of the plateau. Layered rocks forming part of the northern edge of home plate can be seen near the center of the image. Rover wheel tracks are visible on the lower ledge. This image is presented as a cylindrical projection with uh, geometric scene corrections. Now I wanted to uh, show you some recent uh, images released from the Cassino space, the Cassini spacecraft. Uh, on approximately uh, April 3rd, 2009, uh, this first image, uh, image was released. Um, the orbits of Dion and Titan bring them together in one frame in this distant glimpse from the Cassini spacecraft. Light and dark areas on Dion at the top of the frame hint at the, at the moon's fractured surface. Through the hazy atmosphere of Titan, at the bottom, the dark region of Cinco is visible. This view looks towards the Saturn face inside of Titan and the leading hemisphere of Dion. North on Titan is up and rotated three degrees to the left. The image was taken with the Cassini spacecraft wide-angle camera on January 28, 2009, using a spectral filter sensitive to wavelengths of near-infrared light centered at 939 nanometers. The view was acquired at a distance of approximately 2.3 million kilometers uh, from Titan and, and at a Sun-Titan spacecraft or space angle, uh, space phase angle of 44 degrees. With strings of icy material thrown in many directions, a huge ray crater stretches across nearly half the leading hemisphere of Saturn's moon Rhea. With the sun almost directly behind the spacecraft of this low phase image, the disk of the moon is almost completely lit for Cassini's camera. Cassini's camera. Lit terrain seen here is on the leading hemisphere of Rhea. North, of Rhea, uh, north on Rhea is up and rotated 33 degrees to the right. The image was taken in visible light with the Cassini spacecraft narrow angle camera on March 3, 2009. The view was acquired at a distance of approximately 820 kilometers from Rhea and at a Sun-Rhea spacecraft or phase angle of 8 degrees. Day breaks on the northern hemisphere of Saturn in this image again from this Cassini spacecraft. The D-ring is hidden below the horizon, but working outward from the planet, this image shows the C, B, A, and F rings. The moon Prometheus is a faint speck inside the thin F ring in the upper left of the image. This view looks towards the unilluminated side of the rings from about 33 degrees above the ring plane. The image was taken with the Cassini spacecraft wide angle camera on March 20th, 2009, using a spectral filter sensitive to wavelengths of near infrared light centered at 853 nanometers. The view was obtained at a distance of approximately 888,000 kilometers from Saturn and at a Sun-Saturn spacecraft or phase angle of 121 degrees. If you have any questions regarding anything that I talked about today, please leave a comment or send me a message and I will redo the answer online. Thank you for joining me for another awe-inspiring episode of Planetary Television. This is Errol Coder. And I will see you next time. You don't know what